Hey guys, it's me, Julie V, and welcome to my new Let's Play of The Sims 4 City Living. I am super thankful to have received early access on this pack from EA for free. <laughs> so yeah, that was super nice and I was able to film this introductory machinima and the first part of my Let's Play early so you can bring it to you guys as soon as possible. Yay! <laughs> And in this first part, I want to start out with showing you the world of San Myshuno and where our characters live and do a bit of introduction to the characters. So, first of all, you saw in the Machinima that Thor got thrown out of his house by his dad because he was being extremely snobbish and his father thought that he had to learn how to be independent, so he pulled his inheritance and... Uh, shoot him out of the door and said you can come back when you've earned your own living so basically that's what happened and um, Loki over here he lives here Loki um, he doesn't want Thor to come back home he doesn't he wants to sabotage him because he wants all the inheritance for himself if Thor stays disowned Loki inherits everything so Loki followed Thor to San Myshuno to sabotage all of his attempts to redeem himself. Uh, yeah, not very nice, but we'll see how that plays out. Um, yeah, Thor uh, was all alone and didn't have anything when he came to the city, but he met Lillian Knight in the spice market and she offered him to stay the night with her in her apartment in Culpeper House. So right now Thor is living with Lillian, uh, for now we're gonna visit them in this part and I'll show you what these two are up to. Um, then in Uptown we have Tony Stark who lives in his own three-story apartment. That's right, it's a three-story apartment. It's the only apartment in this building but yeah it has three stories so uh, yeah, Tony Stark uh, lives here and uh, he's a successful businessman, but he has a problem committing to relationships and we'll see if he will ever find someone who can uh, stop that. <laughs> uh, then in the building next to that we have Steve Rogers who lives here. Uh, Steve Rogers was in the military for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm playing this Let's Play with the modern twist, so I have storylines inspired by the real Marvel storylines, but they're not exactly the same, so I'm basically um, adapting them to a modern world. So Steve Rogers was in the military for an awful long time, but now he came back to his home in San Myshuno, he got a new apartment, and yeah, he has to adjust to normal life because he's not used to it by now and he doesn't know anyone in the city. Everyone he knew doesn't live here anymore so basically he has to build up a new life and a new group of friends so we'll see how that plays out. And last but not least we have Natasha Romanoff. <laughs> she lives here. Um, she had a pretty big fallout with Tony Stark and they fought and what happened is that Tony put her out of a job and now she came to San Myshuno to find a new career and she doesn't know what she wants to do yet because she was a spy, a government spy, before Tony had her kicked out. Um, and she knows that she can't get in there ever again in that career. So basically she wants to find something new, but you don't know if she can leave her old ways of paranoia and training and fighting behind. So. Yeah, we'll see how she makes it. And yeah, let's dive into it and get into this apartment with Lillian and Thor. So I can show you guys what's up. So here we go. This is Culpepper House number 18. <laughs> it's one of the nicer apartments in this house. So basically there are some ones that are really, really filthy. But this one is quite alright. I'm gonna show you what the lot traits are. Um, it has historical. The landlord has one rule. The inspirational plaque dedicated to a famous historical resident can never be removed or sold. Yeah, we have this plaque over here on the wall. Um, then the other trait is haunted. Locals say this place is haunted. Pa, what do they know? 
<laughs> we'll see about that. I'm really excited to test that out. And the last trait is one that I picked. Um, it's gremlins. Stuff breaks here a lot. It's like there are tiny goblins who come out at night and smash things, but that's ridiculous, right? So yeah, it's not only haunted, it has gremlins as well. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we'll see how these lot traits affect them living here. I didn't decorate this apartment on purpose because, and I'm going to show you that right now, Lillian is a writer. She wants to be a best-selling author. She is a blogger and she came to San Mai Shuno to further her career as a writer and hope to publish books and articles successfully. But she got this apartment as a pretty short notice uh, solution and she doesn't want to stay here long because she wants to move up in the ranks and wants to be able to afford a better apartment. So she didn't decorate it, she just put all her stuff in, in here and it's not very, it feels very bare. But that's quite alright because <laughs> yeah she wants to move out soon and we'll see if she can afford it. Um, yeah, Thor is <laughs> around. He got some new clothes. We don't want him running around in his superhero outfit and his preppy clothes. Don't uh, fit well with the residents of the spice market because he seems out of place. So basically he got some new stuff that <laughs> makes him look a bit more cool. Um, his aspiration is party animal, but he will have to find... Um, yeah, basically, maybe he could find a new aspiration because party animal is not going to help him redeem himself in the eyes of his father. Um, his traits are good, self-assured and active. And he has the bonus trait of higher metabolism because he used to have the um, athletic aspiration. I downloaded Thor, um, like the sim from Mother Sims. I'm going to put a link in the description because it, it's a really good version of him. I... I altered him a bit. I think I changed a few things about his face, but the main version is from. Uh, no, not Mod the Sims. Sims Resource. Sorry. Sims Resource. I'm putting that link in the description. Um, yeah, Lillian, I made myself, so she's my own Sim. Her traits are good, bookworm, and clumsy, and she has the muser bonus trait from the creativity aspiration. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Thor does not have a job. <laughs> We'll see if he can find one. And yeah, right, right now he's just trying to stay clear of Lillian and not overstay his welcome. <laughs> they are sitting pretty far apart because Thor doesn't really know um, her that well and she doesn't know him that well. And yeah, basically they might just try to get to know each other. So I'm going to introduce some... <laughs> he scooted over. That was a bit awkward. Um, yeah, he's he's gonna have to get to know Lillian a bit better and Lillian will have to get to know him a bit better, so maybe he can stay a little while longer than one night. So while they are talking, let me show you around in the neighborhood. Ah! This is awesome. There is a flea market going on right now. <laughs> right now, so you can buy all of these things for really cheap you can you can have here you have when vendors who sh uh per where you can purchase collectibles and even a voodoo doll oh my god and there are so many people hanging out oh what's this no oh, i think it's still closed and there are bubble blowers over here there is a fresh party stand and more tables and food stands but i think the festival might be closing down because there are one food stall is already closed and we'll see how long that lasts. But I'm not sending my sims down there just yet. Oh, she is off to work. Okay, so maybe I am sending my sim down here. So Thor, Thor uh, can explore the city and the spice market. And yeah, all of these sims, some of them are pre-mates from the city living pack. And some of them I made or downloaded from the gallery. Uh, they all have their own storylines, but I'm gonna wait until they, like, come into play. I'm gonna just roll with it if some, if one of my sims, um, talks to one of them or something like that. I'm just gonna roll with it and introduce them to the story. 
but so far I'm not gonna tell you all of their storylines because that would take forever. Oh look, there is <laughs> Tony Stark, he just jogged over for some food. <laughs> Maybe we can introduce ourselves. Oh, he's already staring at us. <laughs> oh, wow, creepy. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can introduce ourselves to him or get to know him. So basically, Thor is probably just telling Tony that he just came to the city and he doesn't really know anyone yet. And Tony is like, yeah. Uh, Thony, yeah. Thony. Sure. Thony. Yeah. It's like if Thor and Tony were a couple, their couple name would be Thony. <laughs> no. Tony is, um. Is probably being like, yeah, okay, man, you'll probably make it, but whatever. <laughs> he's not a very helpful person right now. Uh, he's pretty arrogant. Um, and yeah, he's already leaving. <laughs> he doesn't really want to be, um,. All that associated with Thor right now because he lives in a filthy apartment and all that stuff. So maybe if we work our ways up the ranks in some career, then Thony will. Thony! I said it again! It's not Thony, it's Tony! Damn it! Uh, Tony will start noticing us or taking us seriously. Oh, there are so many things to buy here. I love it. And there's a street performer! Can we watch him? Oh, you can trade collectibles? Ask to trade collectibles, but we don't have any collectibles. So we can't really do that. <laughs> oh, okay, he wants, to, he wants to watch him, but the living statue just left. That's just rude. <laughs> totally rude. Um, yeah, so maybe Thor can... No, I don't want to buy it. I want to watch performance of the street performer. That's right. Oh, I have a nice idea. Maybe Thor wants to buy a nice gift for Lillian as a thank you for letting uh, for letting him stay in her apartment. Yeah, so yeah, right now Lily and Thor have joint household funds, so there's quite a lot of money there, but I imagine that Thor didn't bring a lot of money to San Maishuno because basically his dad just kicked him out and he doesn't have much, maybe a few hundred simoleons, not really something to get by with. And yeah, maybe he can buy a cute gift for Lillian. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> a few, a bubble blower, a future cube, a few toys and yeah. <laughs> voodoo doll. Yeah, I'm not buying. I'm not buying the voodoo doll for for her. There are a few lamps over here. That doesn't seem quite like a nice gift. But I do like these lotus lamps, and I think I'm gonna buy one of these. Buy Loti lotus lantern, and um, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, okay, that's a household inventory. Uh yeah, but basically he's gonna gift that to. Lillian as a thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that seems pretty nice. Okay, now that I have shown you guys around the spice market, I want to get on and show you something about the other characters. The next character I am visiting is Loki and he got all of his father's money to his hands and he bought this really really big and nice apartment in the arts quarter <laughs> and basically this is going to be his lair from which he will try to gain influence and control in town so he can sabotage <laughs> thor and all of his attempts to redeem himself uh, his traits are genius evil bookworm and dastardly from the chief of mischief aspiration so yeah so what i want to do first is i'm gonna give loki a career in politics because that's what he needs to gain power and influence in town <laughs> he will probably be a very corrupt politician and i hope that we can explore this career really nicely with him so let's see politician <laughs> He's gonna be an unruly activist. It's not what he wants to be, but that's where he has to start out and probably choose 
the politician branch soon and he <laughs> doesn't have anything against collecting the occasional bribe. <laughs> Entered the politician career, Lokbuki is now an unruly activist at the Concerned Citizens of Maishuno. He starts Monday at 8am. Work assignment. Choose a cause to support. Should Loki Lofison get a jump start and accept the assignment? Assignment. I guess. Yeah, so... If we click on him, political career, we can pick a cause to support. It's no sin left behind. Simoleons for everyone. Speak for the trees. World United or Foundation for less mischief. I'm gonna choose simoleons for everyone, but in his eyes that only means simoleons for himself. <laughs> so he will probably be very corrupt and collect money under the mantle of charity, but just use it all for himself. Very, very evil. <laughs> I can also show you his other outfit. His real Loki outfit that I made from the Things that we have in game and uh, two pieces of custom content, which is the cape and the horns. But I also wanted to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Anishel Sims because there is a third piece of custom content here and it's the shirt. Basically, the normal shirt uh, from the game, I think this is from Spade, I'm not quite sure, but this is a shirt. And it normally has long sleeves, like very long sleeves. And that means you can't see the bracelet. But the cape is a bracelet, basically. So it's marked as a bracelet. So I needed the shirt to show the bracelet. And I asked for help on Twitter. And Annie Shell made this for me. Thank you so, so much. You saved my day because now I can have this epic Loki costume with a cape. <laughs> Which wouldn't be possible if she hadn't made this uh, shirt into a piece of CC with short <laughs> short uh, sleeves. So yeah, thank you very much for that. So let's see what the other characters are up to. Oh, here we are in Steve Rogers' apartment. It's huge. He does have a lot of money. Like, this is really huge. It's also very old-fashioned. Which is not surprising, since Steve has been away for so long that he's out of touch with the modern world. Basically, he is way older than he looks. <laughs> you guys probably know this story. Um, if not, in the real uh, Captain America movie, Steve Rogers was frozen in ice for 70 years. So he was hugely out of touch, but he also has super strength and survived. Um, yeah. So in my story, he was in the military for ages and he likes old fashioned stuff. It's just the way it is. Um, he has the bodybuilder aspiration, which is probably still from his military training. Um, he doesn't have a job because he just got out of the military, but I'm gonna pick a job for him now. Oh, there are his neighbors. <laughs> I don't know what I should choose for him. Um, basically, it could be anything. It could be athlete, which would fit well with his former military career. Uh, critic probably doesn't fit, neither does politician or social media. So it's not going to be one of the new careers for him. It could be athlete, it could be astronaut. It could also be detective. Um, so yeah, I think I'm picking athlete for now. Maybe we can change it later, but for now it's gonna be athlete for him. And his traits are family oriented, good and active. And high metabolism from the bodybuilder aspiration. So yeah, check this out. This is Uptown where Tony Stark lives over here and Steve lives here. That's Steve's building. And that's the rest of Uptown. There is a lounge up there as a penthouse and this is the Uptown area. I really, really like this. There's a gym down here that Steve can frequent as an athlete. That's very nice. And there are a few protesters around. 
protesting for a good cause. There is a street performer once again. And there are a few other sims around too. Um, so yeah, what I would probably do in the next part with Steve is try to meet new people in town and try to further his career a bit so he can get accommodated to his new life. But today is just the introduction part, so I'm gonna check out the other characters. So yeah, here we go. This is Tony Stark's apartment, which is basically almost a penthouse because it's the only apartment in the building and it has three levels. So this is the bottom level with the pool and a bar. <laughs> and that's pretty, pretty luxurious. And then you have the middle level with the modern kitchen, which he probably never uses. Um, and even a whirlpool outside. Wow. And the top floor is just a guest bedroom, Tony's bedroom, and another bathroom with a talking toilet. Yay! <laughs> I guess. Yay. Um, we're gonna try. We're gonna try that out right now. I wanna try the talking toilet. Okay, so you have to discover its uses. All right then, let's try this one. <laughs> I have no idea what this does, but it's gonna be fun. And what ha what happened? What happened? Did I miss it? I probably missed it. Let's just <gasps> rude remark. Our oh, friendly chit chat. He's gonna chat with the toilet. We don't want to be rude to the toilet. Who know what he could do to us? <laughs> oh, it's such a happy toilet, <laughs> and he gains social from that too. Wow, pretty dang awesome. So. What about Tony? His aspiration is to be a computer whiz and his traits are hot-headed, genius, ambitious and business savvy. So yeah, basically he's a really successful businessman, but he has also had a series of failed relationships and one night stands and we don't know if he will ever find the right woman for him. Well, who knows? We're going to find that out probably during this Let's Play. So I'm really excited for that too. Yeah, I already showed you Uptown from Steve's apartment, so now we're gonna check out our last character, which is Natasha Romanoff. So this is Natasha Romanoff's apartment in the fashion district. This is the fashion district. There is a huge penthouse over there. And this is really, really neat. It looks really pretty. And uh, yeah. So Natasha just moved into this apartment. It's also a quite small. She has a guest bedroom, but we might convert that to a gym or something like that. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do with her is she doesn't really know what she wants to do yet after being a spy for a really long time. So <laughs> basically I'm going to test out a few different careers with her and we are going to start because she absolutely has no idea what she wants to do. We are going to start with the critic career. <laughs> maybe she can be a food critic. She's not really, I don't, not sure. Maybe she could be an art critic as well. But yeah, we're going to try that career out for her and her, oh, level up writing skill. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and her aspiration is renaissance sim because she, because she wants to try everything and basically wants to find what's best for her and her traits are outgoing, self-assured, active and gregarious. So she's gonna have, uh, uh, probably have an easy time making friends in this new town. She's pretty charismatic as well. She has a lot of charisma skill. Um, yeah, if she needs to level up her writing skill, we should probably convert this not to a gym, but to... At least we should put a desk in there and a computer. How could you level up her writing skill without a computer? So for now, this is an office. I'm gonna put a bookshelf in there as well. Ah, there's new bookshelves. Very nice. I like that. New bookshelves. Uh, we probably have to delete one of these. Oh wow, they are really low bookshelves. Well, alright, I'll roll with it. Okay, so yeah, 
that's about Natasha Romanoff. And now I think I have showed you all the characters in this Let's Play. And I hope that you are really excited for the next part. Stay around. I'm going to notify on Twitter when the next part goes up. Check out my Twitter link in the description. Otherwise, you can always see the new video when you subscribe to my channel. And the second part is going to be out really, really soon. So I hope I'll see you guys around. Bye. <laughs>